I think Wanaka and Queenstown are really awesome ski towns because everybody has made an effort to come here for the snow, so everybody's super excited about it and really, really keen to get up there and get outdoors. The energy here is it's undescribable. Everybody is super, super excited to be in the mountains and I, I can't really describe it other than the word frothy. <laughs> Over the last five or more years, they've been doing massive upgrades. They're definitely on par with some of like, the most amazing resorts around the world, you know. We're so lucky to have so much choice. Sometimes it's just hard to choose what mountain to go to. Yeah, I think when we have Wanaka and Queenstown like as such well-developed towns, it makes an ideal environment for athletes. I mean, you look up at Kadrona, we have a world-class half-pipe, world-class slope style. And that it caters to everybody, whether you're an Olympian, whether you're somebody who's here with some mates, or whether you're here with you know, your family and kids. The key difference to the other regions around New Zealand is that we do have these beautiful lakes and we're right in the middle of the Southern Alps, so it's just so unique. The lakes, the fields, the mountains, it's some of the most beautiful terrain in the world. The resorts in the Lakes District are world class. I mean, you could be up at Kadrona skiing with Olympians, or you could be up at Treble Cone and Remarkables skiing with like world champion free riders. It's just incredible the talent that we have around here. For me, definitely my favourite place to ride is the Remarkables. When I get to the top of one of the hikes that I do there regularly, you're greeted with an amazing view of the whole Lake Wakatipu. You can see town, you can see the airport. It's just a really awesome feeling. You can hit the park, you can hit amazing free ride terrain with shoots, so you've got wind lips and lots of jumps, and combine that with a powder day and it's as good as it gets.
at Triple Cone is the stunning views. A lot of people arrive there and are really blown away by that. It gets me every time. Been up here since I was one and a half. So, yeah, still pretty beautiful, I'd say that. Second is the terrain. The terrain's absolutely amazing and there's heaps of vertical to ski. One of the really amazing things about Triple Cone is the environment on a powder day. Everybody goes up to the summit rocks together and everybody's cheering for each other and pushing each other and it's a really cool environment to progress in and be a part of. Once you're done riding and spent a day or up on the mountain, there is literally hundreds of options of food and beverage places, bars, nightclubs, casino, discos, whatever. You can do whatever you want, man. Dance the night away. <laughs> Coronet Peak is probably the easiest resort to get to. It's only 20 minutes from Queenstown. And when the sun goes down and the lights come on, it takes on a whole new energy. 